I'm coming to you today with another what I eat in, to, in a day. Uh, today, I went back to my normal eating. So I broke my fast because I'm still doing intermittent fasting, but I'm doing regular eating. I broke my fast with this Quest chocolate brownie. Um, as you can see, it has one net carb or well, four net carbs and one gram of sugar, 17 grams of fiber. Um, as you can see, I only ate half the bar. It wasn't really good. But here are the nutritional values on it, just in case you're interested in it. So for breakfast today, you can see I'm having two slices of bacon and some keto egg bites. I do have a recipe coming for these. They're really quick and easy. And with that, I'm also going to have a cup of jasmine tea. You know I love my tea. So that's what I'm eating for breakfast. And I'll see you at dinner time. Cheers. So I've already washed and dried my chicken. We're gonna go ahead and get seasoning. Now all seasoning is to taste, but make sure you add enough that when you toss it, all of your chicken will be covered. This is the chicken after I pulled it out of the oven. As you can see, it does have um, liquid at the bottom. So that's why we cooked it covered so that we're going to use this, um, the juices to make a little sauce for our rice cauliflower. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour our juice off for our chicken into a small saucepan. We're going to make our gravy in this pan. You can call it gravy or sauce, whatever you want to call it. So next up, we're gonna make a slurry. We're gonna do it the same way we would if we were using cornstarch, but we're gonna use um, xanthan gum. So, I'm just gonna put it in some water. It's about a teaspoon, I have a tablespoon, don't mind me. And then next, I'm just going to, next I'm just gonna whisk it. Once you get it whisked, you wanna go ahead and add it to your pot of sauce but you can see how it's getting the water thick and I'm just doing it this way to keep it see how it has the lumps in it so I'm just going to keep whisking it until the lumps are out and I'm going to add it to the juice that came out of the chicken and then it will thicken the sauce and then we will have a nice sauce to go over top of our cauliflower so I'll be back once I get done okay so to go with my uh, jerk chicken I'm making some rice uh, cauliflower. Funny enough, I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. So don't sleep on the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give this a try and see how it turns out. It's a uh, steam in the bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and steam it. Here is our rice cauliflower fresh out of the microwave. We steamed it in the microwave for about five minutes. It says five or six minutes, depending on your microwave. So next, we're going to put this on a little pan and saute it a little bit and season it up. Be right back. To a heated pan, I'm adding a little bit of grapeseed oil. I like this oil because it really does not impart flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and add that, let it heat for a few minutes, and then we're gonna add our cauliflower. And with the cauliflower rice, we're only cooking it for a few minutes to get some of the excess water out of it. And I also want to get the flavors into it. So I'm using a little heat to do that. 
We're only doing this for about two, three minutes. So this has been cooking long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and plate up and get ready to eat. So I'm getting ready to plate it up. We're gonna add our chicken. Our cauliflower. Our gravy made with the juices and you see how the xanthan gum thicken it up so we're gonna spoon a little of this over time to enjoy <laughs> 